Welcome to GDPG, hey, everybody. the channel where we play games and talk about design and how awesome my run-on sentences are. I Great. I think that's our best introduction yet, to Ever. be totally honest. Done. <laughs> I mean, that's our elevator pitch right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're playing Children of Morta, uh, a game that both of us backed in are super excited for. Uh, yeah. And I, this, So let's start this off by saying this is an alpha build, so yep. it's not done yet. I would argue that it's in beta because it's way too pretty to be alpha. That's true. Um, but you can see right there it says alpha V012. So... Uh, we're we're gonna probably keep playing it as they update it, just because. Heck yeah. We uh, we're already awesome. hooked. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Um, the game's made by Dead Mage or Dead Mages. I can't remember I the name exactly. I think it is Dead Mage. Oh, it is gonna start the intro. We yep. were worried. We accidentally skipped it, it before. With the river. And, uh, re restarted our data. No person would dare drink from something so vile. But the animals, so awesome. they were not as hesitant. <laughs> I like that it's pouring out of its eyes, too. Tar, the part that so what did he drink the from, though? The uh, poisonous river. To leave oh, it's just poisonous? Yeah, the, the river is like a lighter shade of the purple that everything else is. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I can't see red, so that's why it looks blue to me. <laughs> I love this. Margaret, a story about a family. Mm -hmm. into the wild, appeared perturbed to the family. In all her years, never the dude doing the, the narration, too, the is perfect so for this. Is this. Spot on. Spot on. Answers must be found to questions not yet discovered. It's like... It was clear. Kind of grim and gritty, but at the same time, like, elegant enough to, like, feel like they're talking about a well-established family that's lived for generations in this place. It reminds me of those, um, like, children's, uh, like, just old children's movies way back in the day when animation was still really being, uh, tested. That's, Stuff like that. Yeah, it does like kind of remind me of that. Down style, like, that, that time period, like, that, that kind of voice. All right, so we're in our house right now, and you get to take a gander around and take a look at everybody. It's pretty sweet. It doesn't work so well on the Steam controller yet. I, uh, we oh, actually, right. we actually couldn't get it, the Steam controller working on this computer for some reason. But uh, the Steam controller, it like pulls you back to the fireplace, no matter what. Maybe that's like the gamepad behavior because with the gamepad you can actually just like adjust pull that, the though. joystick so, all the way up. I'm wondering if there's there's an adjustment that somebody's already come yeah. up with. Oh, a little, little Todd. So this, okay. and we can only, right now we can only play three characters, but I assume we unlock the means to play pretty much all of these characters? It is possible. I actually, the I have The only one I don't know that, is uh, the little baby, the, the little the kid that's, toddler, maybe, maybe, her, well, she's got fire. Oh, there's, right. There's one, I thought I saw a little baby, baby, like, up An in actual, one of the rooms. I'm not sure. Um, I do know that there are... There are a lot of um, like the little side quests and stuff. This game is uh, so. This game is like a. Uh, what would you explain it as? A. Uh, You're talking genre. Genre. I would call it an action roguelike. It is very similar to um, to not Diablo, but uh, 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 um, Wow Hammer Watch or its predecessor, which was uh, Help Me Out Gauntlet. Oh, it is okay. very Gauntlet style. Um, Actually, yeah. It, I mean, it, it feels very different from Gauntlet, but I it, I kind of get what you mean by that, yeah. though. It has a, a slower feel than Gauntlet does, but, like, yeah. very careful. It's also more fair than Gauntlet was. No joke. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we have the three characters to start off with. We have the uh, the youngest son. Um, and uh, My personal favorite. His Yeah, your personal favorite. and oh, they're... He's, So he's the stealthy one, right? Oh, so he, he can throw daggers, and he can also... You can upgrade him to get the ability to temporarily turn invisible um, and do, like backstabs i guess really just like more powerful attacks yeah. that pulls you out of the stealth mode chance yeah um my favorite actually is john here and uh, which is the pretty pretty like vanilla character you would expect to see from this game but he is pretty awesome he's just he's it's how he's done that's mm -hmm. I, I i feel it's very i find him actually very unique um because his shield is done in a different way where yeah you still take damage but you actually re you actually hit them back when you do a shield block. Yeah, it's... and that's very important because that makes him a defensive offensive character. He also has the the widest like damage 
radius than than all of the starting characters do at least. Yep. Um, because he can swing and hit, you know, like f- 10 guys in it one swoop. It reminds me Dark Souls style. Just like yeah, yeah. slogging through, just swinging. Um, so it gives you little personalities on them as well, which is very cool. So we know who we're playing and what they're like. Um, so he's the youngest son. He's basically, he is the the, the, the last child syndrome. He is the uh, <laughs> he, he is the one that is like entertaining or, uh, and... Uh, he's the youngest son. The youngest, so yeah, yeah he's, he's the baby. He's the one that like needs the attention. <laughs> uh, John, it specifies, has trained all of his kids, which is pretty uh, cool. Although so I wonder... Is he the dad? Yes. Uh, oh. He's the dad. So the starting characters is the dad, the mom, and then the youngest son. No, not the mom. This That's is not the, mom? the eldest daughter. Oh, okay. So the the uh, Mary is actually the uh, pregnant one up in the rocking chair, which I'll show in a second. And that's actually I find very cool. She's oh. right there. I think that she becomes a utility character later. Like you can't use her, but kind of like the grandma where she can still do stuff. Oh, okay. Or it could be completely wrong. And she's just there to help drive the story, which she does. I mean, it would be awesome to see her fighting like pregnant and everything. <laughs> be pretty, be like, you be are crazy. a badass lady. Oh, man. There's like one point where you're playing him and it's just, it goes into a little bit of detail and you're like, uh, nobody can stop John when he's fighting for the love of his wife. Oh. It's pretty crazy. So I'm going to I'm gonna start this off and I'm going to play John because uh, he's actually my favorite. He's, um, he's probably the best starting character too, honestly. And I think that's exactly what the developers probably want is you to start with him. Yeah. Um, so it explains how your, your stuff works. We're just going to dive right in. Uh, yeah, we can explain a lot of this as we go. Sh- uh, so he starts off with the shield ability, which is actually pretty unique because most of the characters don't have a secondary ability when That's they're true. level one. And, I mean, there's a dodge mechanic in this game, so at a certain point it's almost better to dodge. Um, but the shield, because it deals damage back, it obviously reduces the damage you take. Um, I don't know, it's, it's pretty useful. The one thing I don't like about the shield, though, is that it does require you to get hurt for it to be effective and honestly in a like in terms of like long term play I feel like I I end up not using his shield because I would rather keep my hit points if I can just actively dodge so the shield uh, you, you actually in my opinion have to look at it differently it's not a matter of um, like I would rather do this than dodge it's a matter of I do this because I cannot dodge yeah, and that's usually when I do it, too. Yes, and uh, because of that, it allows you to get away with a lot of tactics that you normally would not be able to. Yeah, the other benefit, too, of, of John's shield is that uh, it doesn't have a cooldown. You just can always use it. Yeah, you um, can also actually cancel, um, or rather interrupt your attack. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you see, just like right there, just... I, that, I honestly really, really love that, too. I think you can do the same thing with dodging, too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, yeah, sure enough. Um, but I like I think that's really, really important to have in, in, in at least most modern action-focused games. Because um, that was one my one biggest gripe, I think, about Dark Souls. And don't get me wrong, I love Dark Souls, and I think it's a very well-designed and interesting game. Um, except I never beat it, and I heard that the ending was terrible. But that aside... Barely um, played it, which is ironic, as you think I would. The one thing that drove me crazy about the combat system is that you have to complete every one of your actions before you could perform another one. Um, and, like, I think that works for Dark Souls because the rest of the game is designed around that philosophy. Um, but, like, you see games like Hyrule Warriors, right? I'm sure the rest of the Dynasty Warriors ah. games are like that, too. Um, where, like, very snappy, very, like, s- quick responding controls um, makes the game just feel that much better. Yes, but it's that's not for every game. That's, I no. mean, like, that's like, one reason I can't get Nick to play a lot of games with me. <laughs> and he uses this term, like, splashy controls. What he mm-hmm. means to say is, like, that there is a little bit of a delay in your actions or your recovery time is a little bit too long. And, you know, that's actually, I completely understand why he, mm-hmm. he would, or why a lot of players wouldn't like that. Um, because it feels like it's not responsive. 
but that's the point of the game is to not be about spamming your attacks, right? Um, but instead, uh, be about careful, methodical movements. That's that's actually why, like all things considered, I'd still like Dark Souls because it was designed with that in mind. So it works really, really well, and it almost forces the players to adapt the mindset that they wanted, that the developers wanted the players to have, um, in a way that like the player doesn't really have to think about it. They just kind of like do it because it's necessary. <laughs> So we came across a few things in the dungeon so far that, uh, oh. they, so the, we have the explosive probe plant that I showed when it, it's attacked. I was convinced that guy would blow up if you ever went in the center. Like, yeah. I, I've oh, encountered them in my playthrough too, and all I just never is, gave it the chance. All it does is draw you in. That's actually a little disappointing, because, like, sure it messes you up to pull you aside, but at the same time, like, it was hard because I thought I was going to get damaged. So I would like, I'd get stuck in that, that zone where it's sucking me in and I'd be trying to fight it while also fighting off other enemies at the same time. It, it got really intense, but now that I know that it doesn't it's actually do anything bad, you, I'm just going to like let uh, it pull me in and just fight since off Since it the is the first monsters. cave, I don't really mind that. That's fair. They, I guess they could be, I mean, they've got like the two traps that I've seen so far in the first level is those plants that blow up and they damage everything around it, including the enemies. And the uh, and the like gravity well thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I wonder if later on we'll see like the merging of those two. So maybe they're teaching us these two separate mechanics at two separate times. I can believe that. So I got a new ability, um, the shield dash, and uh, I think I just threw that guy into the wall. So <laughs> that happens every once in a while. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, alpha, and um, basically it's a very cool ability because. Uh, it, it allows you to clear yourself up a little bit, as well as um, make make that distance that you may need. Oh my god, I hate these bats. No matter what character I'm playing, I hate them. Is that a pool of water? Uh, Down yes. below? I mean, maybe that's not anything, but I also yeah. haven't oh, no, seen you ready? that. You ready? You haven't seen this yet? No. Come on, come out, come on up. Is there a monster in there? Uh, kind of. Oh, maybe not in this one. Oh, that's disappointing. So, uh, yeah, there's, there was, I, I came across one in my playthrough earlier, and, uh, there was totally something swimming around in it. it like, a, like a, like a slimy, like, snake kind of thing that would jump out occasionally, but it didn't, um, <laughs> nice. it, it didn't do anything, it was merely there for show, uh, like, just, that's, that's probably the end of the dungeon. That's ominous. Um, yeah, I, I was like, oh my god, is that a thing I could fight? And I couldn't attack it or anything. <laughs> I mean, maybe it I just is, right? I kept looking at it being like, oh, I don't want to, so I the do not want to interact The first time I saw that wall, I definitely thought it was some it was kind like of laser. laser yeah, I was like, uh, well, I, I went honest, through it. The only reason I knew to go through it is because I watched their, their playthrough oh, really? of how his mechanics worked. So I knew that you could go through them. Mm. If it weren't for that, I would have thought the same thing. It's because it's so solid. I think if it was broken up a little bit, like it was some sort of like ethereal glow then it wouldn't be as like dangerous looking yeah that's fair um so that little area is pretty cool what did and, you get uh, out of there oh you got oh the electro one i that, love that it's thing it's amazing it, it might be in my opinion uh, or so far out of the things i've gotten it's it is one best. of the best so far that i've seen too so let's save caves 2-3 for uh the next episode sure and we can show off that uh the new stone there too i'm gonna kill oh wait well like, we can't stop after they see a, a troll or okay that's fair well we can kill this guy um first time i saw the troll it definitely rocked my world just because i, I actually didn't realize i could dodge until oh, i fought those guys and i was like there's got to be a better way the only way to fight him is like hit him, slightly move back, hit him, mm -hmm. dodge when needed. But if you're right up on him, you can't even dodge in time. Like his attack will hit you. It's because it has that area effect. Yeah. So that's where the shit's good. Yeah, but anyway, okay. uh, Children Morta so far, playing John. And so far we're this far in with just this character, so I imagine we're gonna be Yeah, we're doing we're a few doing playthroughs of this. And we're doing pretty good so far. I oh, mean, yeah. we haven't I even to, leveled up, I got John. To the yet. boss of the of the caves on my first playthrough. Yeah. Though. So. And neither of us have beaten the first. We haven't beaten the caves yet, so we don't know what's in store for us beyond this point. Mm. But. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Well, we'll find out. Uh, question of the day, though. Yeah. Um. I guess there's a lot of things we can ask right off the bat. I want to actually talk about what you've seen so far with the uh, with the family. 
about how they're they're working on their narrative. And I'm not talking about like specifically story or dialogue, just the, the narrative in general of them telling the story. Mm. Um, what things have they utilized very well that draw you into the narrative? And what do you think that they mm. could hone in on a little bit more? And uh, right now, that would just be good feedback because these guys have made it very <laughs> obvious that they're looking for every little bit of information and yeah. feedback they can get. So that's, I think, think that's a good question too, because it's like we pointed out that they're using the narrative in, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, but you know, is it the most effective? Maybe a lot of players aren't even going to read those little, you know, descriptions, yeah. right? And like, maybe players are going to skip that intro cutscene. And it's like, there's, there's got to be other stuff that they're doing that kind of pulls you into that too. Oh yeah, uh, just wait till we get to like a little secret area or something. I saved a cup. I haven't seen it yet. I'm so excited. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote uh, if you want to see us keep playing Children of Morta. We probably will still play it for a decent bit, but we'd love to see your votes. There's because only then so we... much you can control. We're going to play it no matter what. <laughs> well, yeah, but we still like to see your votes because that lets us know that you're enjoying this series, and it makes it a lot easier for us to justify playing longer. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, and then be sure to vote on anything else that you see pop through our voting section. Just because you vote on something else doesn't mean that we'll necessarily stop this immediately. So. Also, finally, shout out to uh, uh, Dead Mage. Uh, and um, yeah, we're check out check out the game. Check out their site. Check them out. They're awesome. And we're excited to see uh, what they have in store with future updates too. So, yes. adios.